Welcome, Gemini, to the year 2021. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful like, shares, and support. All right, Geminis, 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 Happy New Year. And let's see what is coming up in this year for you, Geminis, and what it is that you need to look out, what is transpiring. So what we're seeing um, as the center of your year is that this year, 2020, your burdens is all going to be over. And this is a wonderful alignment of energies that is coming up uh, um, with your burdens is over the 10 of ones in reverse. So that is very, very good. Now, responsibilities and burdens uh, that you uh, took on in the in the years before is going to come to an end. Uh, the heaviness uh, of uh, the issues, uh, um, seeking other people part uh, that offers help and guidance and synchronizing and bringing priority to your life. Uh, the nurturing of, of accepting. So burdens... Uh, um, that you were carrying. A lot of you, uh, Geminis, took on other people's burdens and was um, helping other people and their situation. And what is going to be transpiring is that uh, this year, the responsibilities and the burdens that you were carrying is going to be coming to an end. Uh, and this is going to be absolutely fabulous because uh, you were carrying burdens for other people and nurturing other people, but these people were not being honest. And it is going to be coming out and um, it's as if your angels and guides is going to be working with you, Virgos, because some sort of information where secrecy are going to be coming out. So it's as if some of you Virgos was in some sort of an illusion with someone. This person wasn't being honest. Illusion. They had hidden truth. Um, so um, illusions, hidden truth, shadows in the night um, light, facing your own fears, Obs um, obstruction of knowledge, the needness to trust your intuition, instinct, the things you can't know at this time are going to be coming out. Confusing re um, reflection is going to be ending. So congratulations, Virgos, is as if some of you, um, uh, Geminis, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Geminis, some of you, Geminis, what was happening and transpiring is that someone that you had in your life was creating a whole lot of these deceptive things. They had, they created some sort of an illusion and had you old in some sort of an illusion. They were not truthful. And this is going to be coming out in 2021. And people are going to be finding out uh, this person and who this person is. Okay. And uh, you are going to be written in some sort of a star dust because you are going to be coming out of a situation where people were being very deceptive and folding the truth and the time and the space, uh, creating illusions around you and holding you in some sort of a unhealthy relationship and situation. You're going to be unfolding yourself. Uh, you're going to be taking yourself away from dishonest people and dishonest situation, illusions that other people had created in your life. You're going to be removing yourself from this situation. So congratulations again, um, Geminis. This is going to be a powerful, powerful year for you. A lot of you could be leaving um, um, some sort of a work or institutionalized situation and finding out the truth about what was happening and transpiring and ending this and creating much better stability in your world. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go in your reading. First, we're looking at your foundation. Your foundation is that uh, um, some sort of an emotional situation Um is going to be leaving your life. So that is the burden. And it has to do with a relationship or a partnership. A cycle is going to be over. You can see this uh, where a cycle is over. A new beginning is going to be coming in. Some sort of a contract is going to be ended. Some sort of a relationship situation is going to be ending. 
and whoever this person in was that you were having some sort of an em emotional situation with uh, a tower moment is coming up to relieve you from this relationship this contract or this situation or issue in your life and this is going to be absolutely powerful so your foundation is about the lies the deceptiveness the illusions that was created around you you're going to be opening up seeing the light seeing the truth releasing yourself from these burdensome relationships burdensome um marriages burdens burdensome contract burdensome business dealing that you were having whatever it is whatever contract because the two of cups is in reverse and they're realizing um whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring this person wasn't being honest and people are now realizing and seeing the truth of what was transpiring that this person had kept you in some sort of an illusion. And I see that your angels and guides is going to be releasing you out of this illusion and removing this person or situation once and for all out of your existence. Um, it is a deceptive person. You can realize uh, whoever this person is for some of you, it is a cancer person between the ages of 18 and 45 um, that was very dishonest and had a lot of secrets, didn't speak the truth. And you Geminis are going to be seeing this and it's going to be ending this or um, a cycle. Um, here it is. You can see the energy of uh, the seven. You're no longer going to be working on this karmatic situation. You're bringing an end to it. This is a year that you're thinking, I have given up of myself everything to help this person and have carried their burden for a very long time and they have been lying and deceiving me. And this person um, is a, um, for some of you, is going to be whoever you are and you're a Gemini that is in a relationship with a Cancer. You're going to be finding out that this Cancer has kept you in a loop. This Cancer was not being honest to you. And I see truth is going to be coming in. You're going to be releasing your from this cancer as you end the year 2021 you will no longer have anything to do with this cancer because you realize that this cancer was very deceptive and one is not speaking the truth so here you see in the foundation is that you're no longer going to be working on this karmatic relationship or karmatic issue a tower moment is coming down to end this contract with this pisces cancer or scorpion person is coming up really as a relationship someone in a relationship or a contract but you're going to be finding out that this person has been lying to you and had secrets and that was unseen illusion they kept you in an illusion they were not being honest they have been treating you and lying to you and have been creating obstacles and burdens for you in a very long time you will no longer want to um um, move on out of this year with this you're not going to be working on this relationship or this uh, um, marriage or this friendship or this uh, love affair or whatever it is uh, you are going to be ending it you're seeing that you're coming in this year decided I will no longer I'm ending the cycle so in the first three months of this year you're going to be ending the cycle with a cancer person it can be a woman um, 50 years and older and a young person so a lot of you could be your child's mother and um, your child but they are water sign people and I see you're ending it and if you notice a cycle is coming in for a Pisces cancer or a scorpion woman 50 years and older they have found out what this woman have done this woman is between the ages of 45 years and older a cycle is ending for them no love is being offered to them because people have realized what this lady has done and how this lady has created a whole lot of issue this some of you were dealing if you were in a relationship with a cancer person you were dealing with some sort of a karma from the past so you will no longer work on this karma with this young person this person is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion between the age of 18 and 45. It could be your child. It could be your partner. It could be a sister or a brother. It could be a relative. You have decided, I will not work out what this karma situation is. I'm taking back my powers. I'm ending this situation. It no longer serves me. I no longer want to work with this. 
And this is good, Gemini, because a lot of you, if you could be Gemini, men that is married to a woman that is a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion, and this woman has kept you in some sort of a loop, some sort of a illusion, and holding you to something, um, some sort of an illusionary relationship, marriage, and you're going to be breaking yourself out because if you notice, the star is here. And this is powerful because it's as if your spirit guides are coming in and saying, look, and we have been showing you the sign. We have been telling you what is going on. You still put in your energy. 2021, this is out. We're bringing it down. We're going to be uh, showing you the deceptiveness of a cancer or a Pisces cancer or a scorpion woman. And this person, an end is coming in for this person and a tower moment is coming up for this person because they have realized what this woman has done and how this woman has manipulated and kept you um, guys in a, an illusionary position. A lot of you are going to be ending a cycle with a young Pisces Cancer or Scorpion person. You have no love for this person. You have turned your back on this person as you get out of the year of 2021 because this person or this situation has not been honest. It was illusionary and you are going to be deciding to take your powers back and say no more, no more. I have given you everything I have. I have been um, putting myself back and giving you everything I have. And you have taken my power, my energy in such a horrible way that I will no longer have anything to do with you. And I see you're making up your mind, deciding nowhere, no more. I'm not doing this. I am ending this and taking back my power. And good for you, Gemini. It is good. Whoever this woman is, I see an end is going to be coming out. A dramatic end is coming out for a young Pisces Cancer or Scorpion, man or uh, female or male between the age of 18 and 45. And for an older woman, 45 years and older, they're going to be finding out the secrets and illusion that this person, was it your wife? Was it your boss? Was it your sister? Was it a sister-in-law? That was it had some sort of an illusionary that was keeping you under control. And I see in a month, of June, you're going to be breaking yourself out and said, no, no more. Release me. Release me. And that's what you Geminis are going to be doing in this year. Let's look at what is uh, um, crowning your year 2021. A cycle is finally going to be over. And the cycle um, is over and I see news is going to be coming in that you're going to be successfully overcoming whatever that was happening and transpiring to you and a Pisces Cancer and Scorpion woman. So a lot of you, whatever the issue, the situation that was transpiring in the month of July, you're going to be successful over this woman. Was it a legal issue? Was it a legal case? Was it your wife? Was it your sister? Was it your sister-in-law? Who is this person? You are going to be successful over this person. And you are not showing any love and affection to this person because you realize that this person was very dishonest and was not being honest and was not placing any um, and, and the honesty towards you and you're going to be breaking this down and leaving the situation and handing this and saying, look, um, this issue, the situation between us, I no longer want to deal with it. I really, I'm really letting go of this and I'm taking back my powers because you have hold me in illusion for a very long time and I'm releasing myself from this illusion. So I see information in the month of uh, um, April is going to be coming out about a young person. It could be your child. It could be a sister or brother um, or it could be a friend between the ages of 18 and 45 that is an um, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion and they're going to be finding out the truth about this person and what this person had done. So Geminis, wow, powerful, powerful Geminis. So let's look at what is transpiring. Now Geminis, um, in the month um, this year, in the month of February, you're ending a cycle. You're ending a cycle. You no longer work, wants to work. And I'm just looking at where the um, 
the, the energy of the major arcanas are coming up. The major arcanas is like your spirit guides so, um, that is going to be coming in. So what we see um, in the month of uh, February and March, your major arcanas are going to be coming in Gemini. And your major arcana is coming in in February to end a relationship. This is a relationship. They're coming in in February to end a relationship. And this is powerful because they are realizing that this relationship needs to end because this person is not being honest to you and you're not really seeing this. So when you look at the month of February with the first major arcana, it is um, ending some sort of a um, burdens that you have been carrying with a relationship or with a partnership with someone because you see the person here and it is a relationship a burdensome relationship you're ending it you're not showing any love to this person anymore and you're taking back your power because this person has kept you in some sort of a illusion and this is going to be ending because in the month of february you're going to be realizing that this person has not been honest to you this relationship or this contract or this person but it's basically coming up as a person for some of you who are in a relationship or a marriage you're going to be ending it because you realize that this person has not been honest to you you're taking back your power and this is going to be good as we look at the month of march is going to be powerful it is a wheel of fortune and something that was taken away from you is going to be returned the burdens that you're going to be carrying is going to be ending and you're going to be successful so some decision that you're making in the month of march um for you gemini is going to give you success in the month of july so realize that because uh, um, your burden is definitely going to be over in the month of May and that is your birthday month when you take back your power and by ending some sort of an issue and situation, you're transforming to a higher energy and a higher frequency and that is going to give you some huge success in the month of July. So these first three months... Uh, with these two major arcana in February. So February and March is going to be powerful, powerful situation is going to be transpiring in the month of February and March. Then we are looking at uh, um, the month of uh, um, August. The month of August is when the truth is going to be revealed about a woman that is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, 45 years and older. That's when the truth is going to be revealed over this person. Whoever this person at the tower moment is going to be releasing them out of your life. And it's as if it's not a debt, it's just this person no longer serve any purpose in your life. The universe is going to be removing them. Okay. So um, that is going to be coming in. But before we touch on that, the major arcana that comes up uh, in the month of uh, June, June, whatever needs to leave your life is leaving in June and July is when you are going to be very, very successful. So it's as if an issue, a relationship, a problem that was created for you or you took on someone else's burden in the month of June, a tower moment is coming in when this thing is going to be released from you and you're going to be regaining your powers. And as we look at uh, the month of August, uh, I see you're going to be finding out the truth about a young and an old water sign person. This young person could be a male or a female, is between the age of 18 and 45. This older woman is a female, 45 years and older, and I see you're not going to be offering this person any love at all because you realize that this person has created some sort of an illusion for you and you finally got out and you're letting it go, okay? So the most powerful month, February and March, uh, June and August, those are your most powerful month. The month, the year ending um, of December is going to be the four of emotional in the reverse and you have no regrets you have no regrets that you have in the connection between these water sign people whether a woman and her kid or a hold and a younger person that is an aries that is an pisces cancer scorpion you have no regrets you're like 
this needed to end it. I am free. I'm finally free. And you're going to be free of a marriage, a relationship, and a divorce in the month of December. And you're going to be absolutely fabulous. You're going to be happy that you have regained your powers and regained your inner strength because these people were sucking you dry. It is a powerful year, Gemini, a really powerful year. And I'm loving this for you because you are taking back your powers. So, all right. So if you notice, there's a lot of major arcana. There is no double energies that you have to deal with and shift with. It's about endings. It's about endings. You're taking back your power. You're finding out information. Um, secrecy is coming out uh, that you were not aware of and you're taking back your power. So I see some sort of a um project is going to be coming back to you guys and for some of your project is going to be ending so let's indulge ourselves in looking at each month and going a breath by breath if you would like to see the extended of this reading you have to be a vip member that is the is subscription and that's when you will see the extended of this month so we, you begin a situation um, with work, but it's not about work. It is about uh, you um, working on yourself, healing yourself, understanding yourself, knowing what is transpiring, knowing what is happening, knowing what is coming up for you. So what we're seeing and what we're understanding is that you, Gemini, so some sort of a situation is as if some of you, Gemini's, have planted or started something and you're going to be seeing um, this thing growing in the month of February, March, okay? So if you had planted or started something, some sort of a project in 2020, you're going to be seeing February and March that this is going to start blooming, taking roots. It already take roots in 2020. You're coming in in 2021 where you're seeing that this situation, this project is growing and blooming and it's coming up. So this is going to be powerful because this is a seven of pentacles. So that means you're already planted and the seeds of a project, the seeds of a business, the seeds of something, and it is going to be taken off in the month of January. Go and look at your third quarter and um, see the message that is coming up here in January is the energy of the seven of pentacles that is going to start to bloom um, the fruits of your labor. In the month of uh, um, February, we have the energy of the world. So what is here is that the energy of the world, a, a situation, a project is as ended, it has grow, and it is going to start to bloom and put out its root. So whatever you had invested in before um, you get in this year 2020, you are seeing um, the monetary um, that is going to be coming out because it's going to be sort of blooming now because a cycle, the planting stage is as grow and now um, you're going to be materializing whatever that you were manifesting and it is going to be coming up and shouting and, and pushing out and a new start is coming in. So February is looking fab, fab, fab. As we look at March, March, some sort of... Uh, Money, materialistic wealth, something to do with money, assets, business um, that um, you were supposed to receive, you never received or was taken from you is going to be returning to you. And this is going to be powerful because March is going to be bringing you back a whole lot of materialistic wealth. So, um, and it has to do with money because if you notice, these are these two is earth energy. January, February is earth energy. It's about new things. So some of you could be buying or it has gotten a mortgage in the year before and now you're buying your house and this is good. This is something that you're investing in. It could be a business. It could be, but it's, it's something for yourself that is going to be bringing you some sort of a materialistic stability that is going to be giving you some sort of a push and anyway moving forward. It's just as if money is going to be good, but love is not going to be good in this year. So money is going to be powerful. Love is sort of an unwavering that is going to be transpiring. So the Wheel of Fortune, the first three months is going to be fab for you. Go check out the first three months because here you're seeing 
that whatever that was happening and transpiring for you guys in the first three months, you're going to be seeing some sort of a positive um, stability that is going to be returning when it comes on to anything to do with your assets, business, and that sort of a thing. Money materialized. It's going to be, you know, coming back. If money was stolen from you, taken from you, it's going to be coming back in the first three months. So you, if you notice... um Gemini's what I didn't say is that um the only air energy is here um the month of uh, April you need to speak up speak up speak up that is the only time April is the only supporting energy where you're going to be speaking up and releasing and telling the truth and cutting and so April and uh, July April and July these two months the pinnacle of the year for you is going to be in April and July, where you're going to be having advancement, success, speaking up, or, um, information. And this is going to be extremely, extremely powerful. And this is going to be fab, fab, fab. And this is going to be good. Okay. Now let's move on and look at, uh, um, what is coming up uh, in the first, uh, the second, um, three months of the year. The second quarter. The second quarter, we have April, which is an air energy, a really good month. Um, we are dealing with your month of May. Your birthday month is going to be powerful um, because you're ending some sort of a burden that you were carrying and you're taking back your empowerment. That's a fire sign, but you're taking down whatever that was happening to you. In uh, the month of June, another fire energy, but this is coming in, removing the blockages from your luck. OK, so it's as if your luck was blocked and it was blocked because a woman that is a Pisces cancer square within 45 years and older was creating some illusion in order to block your materialistic stability. And uh, this person is going to be removed. A tower moment is coming down for this person. And it's as if the universe is saying, now you have done a lot by blocking this Gemini not to, um, you know, receive their luck and prosperity it's now over. Um, Vic uh, uh, you know, leave this, this Gemini, this Gemini need to take back their powers. So in the month of April, communicate very clearly. Communication is very key in the month of April. And that is going to be giving you Gemini a very, very powerful new start. In the month of May, your birthday is when all the issues, the burdens, the problem, whatever that was holding you, blocking you, um, is going to be released. And this, this quarter, see it as the quarter of release. So it's going to be a powerful quarter for you, April, May, and June, because it's as if you're speaking up and you're showing up and you're removing these blockages and these problems that was um, blocking you to move forward and have luck. So it's, it's as if some of you, your luck was blocking now is it is going to be lifting as you leave the month of June going in July. So fire energies, um, but April is going to be absolutely fab, fab, fab. Um, and this is going to be good because uh, um, the tower moment is really taking down and breaking down things uh, that was holding you back and releasing you so that you can be open for your materialistic stability. It is blocking karmatic issues that was blocking you and illusions that a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion woman has created against you, Gemini. So, so we are looking at the third period. We have the, the month of uh, July. That is the energy of the star. And uh, um, that is a good month. July is going to be powerful for you, Gemini. Take the energies. Move along. Success is here. The energy of the star. A situation is ill and balance is coming back in, in July. July is month. That is your air energy with the energy of the star that is really propelling you because the Aquarius is going to be coming in and helping you Gemini's out. Then we are looking at the moon in the month of August. August is a water month. This is a month of illusions. You're going to be finding out that a cancer, an older cancer woman was holding you in an illusion in order for you not to excel 
and your luck comes in and this person is going to be removed out of your life. You're going to be finding out that this woman and her child or this woman and a younger Pisces Cancer Scorpio between the age of 18 and 45 was the one that was creating problems for you and keeping you in illusion. And I see you, Gemini, are going to be releasing yourself and taking back your powers. So um, August is going to be a really water time emotional time because you're going to be finding out secrets secrets is coming out in august about these two people whether they're um family member daughter and son daughter and mother mother and child child um mother and children you're going to be finding out that these two people were the one that was creating a whole lot of issues for you and problems and you're going to be releasing them in the month of august so, as we look at the month of September, another emotional situation where you're going to be finding out that a contract that you had signed was based on lies and deceptiveness and illusion. So a lot of you in the month of uh, uh, September is going to be finding out that your partner was very deceptive, um, that your wife or husband did not marry you or is not in the relationship uh, because of love they're in the relationship um um because of lies and deceptiveness that they use you in order to facilitate themselves and uh, this is where you're going to be breaking yourself out of this illusion um because i see that you're peeling um this this onion and it's going deeper and deeper and finding out that your partner was just deceptive a young person a young um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, you realize that this person was just really, really deceptive and illusionary and was, and, and the universe is saying, here it is. Now here you see. It's a good thing that whatever happened in, uh, um, the month of June happened so that you could uh, wake up. It's like June is going to be the month of wake up wake up you gotta wake up and see what is smell the coffee gemini because you're in a relationship or in a contract that is based on uh, illusions okay so that is going to be coming up in um september um so this um it, it is like a wake-up call um it is like secrecy is coming out in this third quarter for you guys and you're going to be finding out and this is why i say to you guys go back and always listen to the monthly readings and the year readings in order to realize what it uh, what is going to be coming up for you so you're ready to make your move because you gemini's are the smartest people on this planet and when people realize that they don't they don't mess with you gemini's because it's as if some of you gemini's your heart is so clean and so open and people take advantage of you gemini's and now you're going to be realizing that you were in an illusion because your heart was so clean and open so we're moving to the last and final quarter. The last and final quarter, you are dealing with some sort of an emotional situation. Some of you is with your mom. Some of you is with your wife. Some of you is with your sisters and brothers or family member. Some of you is with your partner, whether your wife or your husband. Um, but whoever these people are, they are water sign people, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and and you are going to be finding out and you're going to be glad that some sort of an illusionary situation and that you got out of the camp of these people because you find out that these people was very dishonest. So in the month of October, you're dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion woman, whoever this woman is. So this woman has created some sort of issues for you, Gemini's, and you are now showing up this person and you're going to be successful overcoming this person. You're going to be glad that you found out who this lady is. So, so this lady could be a family member or it could be someone, a business partner, or it could be your mom. So however this is happening and transpiring, a lot of you are going to be have to deal with this female energy. And it's coming up as a cancer. But for some of you, it can be a cancer. Some of you it can be a Pisces. Some of you it can be a scorpion. But whatever this lady do, you're going to be very, very successful over this lady. Because the truth is going to be coming out. And people are going to be aware of what this lady have done. Then we look at the month of November. November is when an end, a final end. November is when you um, 
really finally don't hear anything else from a young um, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion. Whoever this person is, maybe it's a child, um, um, or maybe it is your ex-partner that the divorce is finally over, the settlement is finally over, where you remove yourself from this person. And the month of November is that you're going to be realizing how this person has kept you in an illusion, kept you going around in an illusion, in a circle, and you finally, finally, is so happy that you finally get rid of this person. And I see you're going to be so happy. It's like inner joy and happiness. You know those times when you have inner joy and happiness, but you can't let other people know what you're feeling and how, yes, this is the moment. It's like, this is the moment. And you're going to be so happy, really getting out. And your emotional stability is going to be coming back and it's going to be really powerful. You're going to be feeling yourself again. You're going to be healing your heart chakra. You're going to be understanding and learning and learn to forgive this person because this person is illusionary. Okay. This, if this person is a, some of you is a cancer or they use a cancer energy to keep you in an illusion for a very, very long time. And you're going to be releasing this and getting out of this. And you're going to be happy and realizing that this person has kept you and you release yourself from this. You're going to be tremendously, tremendously happy about what has happened and transpired. And you're going to be letting this go. So powerful, powerful message. As we reach the month of December 2021, you're going to be like, yay, what a year. But I am so happy that I end this marriage, end this relationship, end this contract, end this association with these people. I am finally free. Thank you. And I see you owe it to yourself to really take the month of uh, um, um, December and release yourself because you have gone through um, like nine years of Bad, bad luck for some of you, Gemini's. And this month of December, this year of December 2021, you are going to be breathing again. It's like you weren't breathing. It's like you died. It's like you were just walking around as a carcass and now you are breathing. You're like, I am myself. I take my, I've empowered myself. I took up my power from the people that was keeping me in bondage and illusion. And you're like, Thank you. And um, you are ending this note on a really powerful emotional um, ending where you are so happy that you got rid of some sort of a honestly and dishonest illusionary situation that was happening around you. I do love you guys. I'm wishing you a wonderful, powerful year. Um, in order to see the extended of this reading, you have to become a member. Join. Use the blue button. Join and take the third subscription that's where you will pick up the extended of this reading i do love you guys please remain um watching i love you namaste i gotta go